Joining me now from Los Angeles is Adam Faze. He's a filmmaker and also a contributor to Forbes magazine. Adam, thanks for joining us. First, your take as we see more and more Chinese films making their way onto the international stage. Sure. I mean, it's an incredible thing uh, right now where we're seeing more and more films coming to America from China and vice versa. Uh, and it's an industry that's definitely becoming extremely globalized. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. Uh, and it's a very exciting time to be in the film industry. What is the buzz there in Southern California with the growth of the industry, the growth of competition within China with more filmmakers wanting to do business in China? You know, it's definitely a conversation that's being had everywhere right now is how can we get our movies in China right now just because it's an increasingly uh, expanding industry. So uh, I think one of the things American companies are starting to realize that is in order to appeal to Chinese consumers, they're going to need to make stories that appeal to Chinese audiences uh, and not just have Chinese actors in American films. We also mentioned more foreign films uh, entering China. La La Land is opening there uh, this weekend uh, and expanding to reach the audiences, the Asian audiences, the Chinese audiences. Sure. And I mean, right now there's the 34 film uh, quota every year of foreign films entering China, uh, which I expect probably at some point this year to expand maybe a, to a dozen more films, uh, simply because a lot of Chinese consumers want more options. Uh, and frankly, a competitive market is one that's better for consumers overall. What about these big, huge blockbuster international partnerships we're seeing? Uh, Lionsgate, Tencent. We also saw Dalian Wanda with Legendary Entertainment, a collaboration deal with Sony Pictures. Is there the sense that we'll see more and more of these deals? Absolutely. And the first major film that is a, a, a co-partnership between China and the United States was The Great Wall, uh, which opened in China back in December and is opening here in the United States next Friday. Uh, and it did fairly well in China, so we'll see when it opens here next Friday uh, how well it does. And depending on how well it does, uh, we'll see more and more of these partnerships being made, uh, just simply because there's a lot of money on both sides and both countries are looking to work with each other in the industry. Any particular uh, Chinese films that you're interested in checking out, Adam? Sure. I mean, one of the things I'm frankly interested in the most is this uh, renaissance of animated films that's happening in China right now. Uh, and if you look at the Berlin Film Festival, which is just going on this weekend, uh, which is one of the biggest film festivals in the world, the first Chinese animated film in history is premiering there called Have a Nice Day. Uh, and it's really going to shine a light on the industry that's doing so well over there right now as it is. All right. Adam Faze, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate your time. Thank you.